Good evening. What's going on there, guys? Earthmaster here, jumping in on the live stream here. It is uh, July 12th, 2021, about 8.15 West Coast time, 8.15 p.m. West Coast time here in California with the latest quake on the Earthquake 3D globe over here. A 2.7 right around the Puerto Rico area. Seen quite a bit of movement out here in the northwestern part of the uh, Pacific Ring of Fire over the last 24 hours or so. I'm going to go ahead and check that out uh, here on the map. Hold on one second here. Let's see what's going on with this. Oh man, goodness. It never fails. Let's try that. There we go. All right. <laughs> How it gets out of place like that, I don't know. It just does. This computer does some weird things. Hey, but the stream's been running non-stop. Uh, looking pretty good. So there's that 5.3 on the Corel uh, Kam Kamchatka Trench area on the northern end. We've seen quite a bit of movement here over the past couple days. Uh, this latest movement, a 5.3. Uh, but uh, earlier, much earlier, uh, a 5.6. Quite a bit of movement here. Uh, Japan, I can't really say too much for Japan. Uh, but this area north here is something to watch. Major player when it comes to producing some significant earthquakes in that region of the world. Um, other areas around the Pacific, fairly quiet. Not going to say completely quiet, but there's some movement along the Indonesia area down here to the south. Just a couple fours scattered about in a linear fashion. New Zealand, uh, the Kermadec Trench area looking awfully quiet for the most part far as the USGS map goes. Uh, same for South America. If you look pretty much, uh, if you look at this map right here, you can see areas just to the north here. Uh, oh, about halfway point of the uh, Pacific Plate northward is seeing all the activity. This is kind of unusual to see no activity whatsoever here in South America along the Peru Chile Trench and other areas um, around the region. Just awfully quiet uh, in that part of the world. Around the uh, Guatemala area in the Middle America Trench, a little bit of movement. Uh, this 5.2 or 4.1 uh, right off the coast of Guatemala. 4.5.2 uh, here, uh, striking just inland, or just man, eh, looks like it's just right off the shore. Uh, but a little bit deeper into the uh, Middle American Trench, right there. At uh, 90, what do we get? About 93 kilometers or so. Puerto Rico. As we've seen that 2.7, the latest quake striking in this area that we continue to watch for quite some time. Uh, but uh, not, a, not a whole lot of major movement there, folks. Only a handful, about six earthquakes within the region of the Puerto Rico area. Uh, Puerto Rico Trench really not seeing any uh, earthquake activity on it. Doesn't mean we won't see anything happen on it. It's just right now pretty quiet along the Puerto Rico Trench area. Western parts of the uh, United States California looking fairly active when it comes to uh, earthquake activity. Still seeing some movement up here in the Antelope Valley area where that six pointer struck a few days ago. Zooming in, we got about 90 earthquakes or so aftershocks taking place and they have not, uh, they're not really big. There's a bunch of microquakes in there, folks. If you go down to the, uh, or go up to the 2.5 and above, only a handful, about eight of them, eight two pointers. I don't think we've seen anything over a 2.9. So we go to the all magnitudes to get a better, better look. Uh, still at the aftershock sequences taking place there. And that could continue for quite a long time, folks. Uh, down here in Mammoth Lakes, we are seeing a little uptick in activity along the uh, Long Valley Super Volcano area. Just a few microquakes uh, popping off in the region. Moving down south along the Owens Valley Ridgecrest area down here to the south, a couple scattered microquakes uh, throughout the land, including a 2.4 there, just northeast of Ridgecrest. Garlock fault structure looking pretty quiet over the last 24. Uh, a little small microquake near Fraser Park, uh, just right around the San Andreas fault zone at uh, 10 kilometers, 1.4 magnitude. Uh, concrete, concrete jungles of LA basin down there looking pretty, uh, eh, not a whole lot going on. Just a couple small microquakes. This is very common 
uh, on any given day for this region. A little small quake down here at the southern end of the uh, Salton Sea 1.1, but overall no major swarming activity taking place along the west coast. Uh, this area up here in the geysers is very typical of uh, geothermal activity. And uh, that's, that's uh, what do we got, about 26 earthquakes. That's pretty, uh, pretty standard for uh, any given day in that region. Uh, 3.4 off the coast. I believe that happened last night right after the update video. I think, unless this is new one. Uh, this might be a new one here. Let me see where this is at, 3.4. Uh, do, 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 do. I think if I remember right, that may have, yeah, that may be uh, pretty old. Either way, uh, no new earthquake activity along the Cascadia uh, when it comes to any surface ruptures. Uh, Pacific Northwest, Mount Hood, a little bit of activity just south of there. Uh, Mount Rainier, pr pretty quiet today. Overall, just general activity along the Pacific Pacific Northwest, pretty uh, pretty mellow. I'm not going to say completely quiet. 1.6, 30 kilometers below surface, just right up here at the Strait of Juan de Fuca. Uh, and they are, USGS is showing some earthquake activity around the Yellowstone National Park region. But then again, it's nothing major, folks. We'll go ahead and check this map out. This is the uh, seismograph overview of Yellowstone National Park. And you can see uh, most of the activity occurring over here towards the northwest corner of the park once again. Um, some movement. See these little spikes of an earthquake right there. Uh, that's at 5.3. I believe that's a 5.6. I'm not for sure, but that's definitely a distant earthquake. Um, not localized. As far as localized earthquake activity, mostly confined over here to the northwest corner of the park. Um, all other areas look to be um, look to be fairly quiet. A lot of interference over here towards the southeast. This is not magma movement. It's not any type of uh, um, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Yeah, just magma movement. Nothing volcanic. Nothing harmonic. Uh, no harmonic tremor. Uh, just typical, looks like just some type of interference there. Uh, could be wind related. I'm not for sure what the weather is like up there in that part of the world, but uh, um, probably a lot better than California. Although we're getting a slight cool down here in, in my area. We're supposed to only be in the upper 90s for a while. Uh, and then we're going to shoot back up into the hundreds again. So this here is all over the place. Looks This looks like, I don't know what, looks like. <laughs> you can even see the lines are all squiggly kind of a kind of a weird picture weird seismograph station that one there is but nothing uh, nothing to report in in the seismic department some of those are distant earthquakes and this station actually looks pretty well amplified if it is picking up those distant distant quakes that happened um, earlier today you can see it here on the map once again northwest corner of the park couple small microquakes looks like the 2.7 is the largest in that little cluster of quakes that I showed you on the uh, seismograph stations uh, but overall looking like a typical beautiful day up there in Yellowstone National Park areas east south and east some interesting movement in New Mexico area uh, had a 3.0 4.2 3.7 and 2.7 right up here along these mountains uh, deepest one about 13 kilometers, most shallow is 5.7, so some variable depths of earthquakes there. We can check out some of the seismic activity over time. Um, I just don't see a whole lot of movement here in this region. The key tells us here, at least 4.5 and above since about 1900. Uh, only a couple small, uh, 4.5 there, some, some other ones to the, to the southwest, but within this vicinity, not a, not a whole lot. Not a whole lot of movement, but uh, you know it's not uncommon to see some uh, some strange quakes out in uh, in areas of New Mexico, Arizona, even Colorado gets them sometimes. Uh, I'm not for sure. There's a lot of let's see. I don't think there's any population density out here. Let's see if anybody felt it. Areas looks like quite a few 
people reported feeling that uh, that 4.2 pretty strongly in the uh, epicenter area. These are some of uh, the uh, locations out there. 230 in Los Alamos, Al Alamos, <laughs> Alamos, <laughs> Los Alamos. Uh, distance was about 60 kilometers away. That's pretty, uh, uh, like I say, a 4.2, you're gonna feel it. You are definitely gonna feel it. And um, not for sure what we got for fault systems out here. There are some other ones up here in the mountains. I don't see any specifically named faults where this earthquake activity struck. Uh, doesn't mean there isn't any. It's just uh, not showing up here on the USGS map. Uh, Texas is pretty quiet down here. Just a little small quake near Midland, 2.6. And Oklahoma, Kansas border getting in on some action with a 3.0 near Manchester. Other areas east. New Madrid fault system and the Appalachian Mountain range is range looking pretty quiet uh, according to this map here. So, solar weather kicking up a tad bit as we're looking at a coronal hole facing us. Uh, kind of down here to the south now, going to be facing. Uh, it is facing us and slowly turning away away from us. Some minor, minor, very minor sunspots, um, kind of popping up. But overall, the big picture. I'm not even going to say a big picture. It's kind of a minor picture when it comes to solar wind. It's not a big deal uh, whatsoever. But we will get a little increase in some solar storming. Uh, very low levels, uh, G-class storms, very low. 50% chance uh, today, uh, what's that, July 13th night, um, of seeing some uh, geomagnetic storming. Flares, pretty quiet, very quiet. Look at that, only a 0.5% chance. of uh, seeing a sea flare. So that's pretty uh, pretty minimal, folks. And uh, I did mention about getting excited when, when I see seismic, or when I see solar weather ramping up when it comes to solar flares. And someone commented that, oh, what was it? I can't remember what it was. Something about you wanna see earthquakes happen. It's not necessarily just earthquakes that may happen when it comes to solar weather, uh, but other events that take place here on the earth when it comes to weather related stuff and um, amateur radio, CB radio, communication devices and stuff like that. It's kind of cool if you know what you're doing uh, when it comes to um, utilizing solar flare weather here on earth. But uh, no, it's not, I, I don't want to see major earthquakes strike out here on this planet um, because of the solar weather. And then again, it's, uh, you know, this minor stuff, who's to say this minor stuff has any uh, adverse effect on earthquake activity, plate tectonics. I believe it does to an extent, uh, but I think the major stuff may have more of a, uh, a uh, handle in that department. But far as any of that happening anytime soon, there is nothing major on the sun um, that's worth noting at all, to be honest. The sunspots are just, I mean, look, <laughs> they're tiny. It's not, uh, not, not, not all that impressive, let me tell you. All right, folks, I'm going to jump off here. Have a good night. Stay safe. I'm still milling out uh, some decals. Taking me a while. I kind of got behind. Um, still waiting on one person for the uh, 50K subscriber giveaway. Uh, they have not notified me yet, but uh, still waiting on that. So just... If you uh, missed the drawing, it's listed up on my videos on my live stream or on a, uh, for a live video. You just got to go back a couple videos and see it. So go check to see if your name was drawn. Um, anyway, have a good night, folks. We're out of here. Stay safe. Peace out.